Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to a Minecraft video because today for you I have a Minecraft title update 19 name tags explained video. Now name tags did come in the Minecraft boss update, they were introduced in 1.6.1 on Minecraft PC and yesterday you guys, yes you, asked me to make a detailed video on them so hopefully this will help you learn one or two things you didn't know. Be sure to hit that like button, I do appreciate it. Now first off, as for spawning, well you can't craft one of these things, you cannot craft a name tag at all. These naturally spawn, they spawn in dungeon chests, they spawn in temples, they spawn absolutely normal places that you find random chests, including um, abandoned mine shafts as well. So go and look for them, go and grab as many as you can in your survival world now, because when it comes to the update, you will have plenty of name tags. Now a lot of people, including Stampy, will be very excited about this, because he has plenty of dogs and cats in his world. He's given them names, and sometimes it can be confusing on remembering which dog is which. With a name tag, you have no problem at all. Now the cool thing about this is, on Minecraft PC, which console edition won't have, with the fishing, and if they do introduce the enchanting fishing rods, name tags can be caught from fishing as a part of the treasury category, so they can be caught with a fishing rod inside the water, which is brilliant, I know it can save you time from doing all that mining. Now they are stackable up to 64, so if I go to name tags, 64, 64, and 64. Now they are found in the tools category next to the leads, which is cool because leads will also be introduced in Minecraft title update 19, which is brilliant. Now these work with the anvils. Now similar to the way the swords do already, yes, swords already do work and any tools that you have already work in naming them in the actual, um, the anvil. So I put that in there. I can name this to Iron Sword uh, Magicalness. That's what I'm going to name it as. And if I take this, as you can see, Iron Sword Magicalness. That is the actual um, thing we have available on Minecraft console. Now, the only bad thing at this moment on Minecraft console is enchanting with the anvil or, like, repairing things is very expensive. So I am hoping Forge Heroes can reduce the price. But it's very simple with name tags. You place one in there. I'm going to name... Uh, we're going to grab a dog. I'm going to grab a few dogs. I'm going to call him Buddy. My dog's going to be called Buddy. Um, I'm going to grab one for... Um, a creeper and call him Boom. That'll do. So if I grab this and grab this, like this, and we, we spawn some, so we spawn a creeper. Oh, that's our creeper head. And we spawn a wolf. You will see exactly how this works. So that's the wolf, that's the buddy one. So spawn the wolf. As you can see, if I right click on him, his name is now Buddy. Now the cool thing about this is that it keeps you in track of what name is where and that way you don't get lost and then if I do a creeper, I'm going to name him Boom. As you can see, his name is Boom. Now this works for pretty much all mobs apart from Ender Dragon and players, which is cool. I wish you could name the Ender Dragon. Imagine naming your own Ender Dragon, but that is him. His name is Boom. Uh, now there's some Easter eggs, which we'll go over in just a second, and they are down there. That's not strange. That's not normal. Oh, we have a rainbow sheep. Um, so if you don't know about them, I will go over them in just a second. Now, if you um, use the name tag on a silverfish and it goes into a block, it will not be named when that block is broken. If you name a villager, it will lose its name if it's turned into a zombie villager or a witch. A zombie villager will lose its name if it's if it gets cured. So you've got to be careful. Be careful on what you use it on. Uh, that way you're not going to be wasting your name tags. Now, there is an Easter egg to this. There is a really, really cool Easter egg. If I just quickly get rid of all of these and just grab a few name tags. Let's just get name tags. We're going to grab one, two, and three. Now, as you can see over here, this is an upside down sheep. And this is an upside down sheep. And this is a rainbow sheep well how does this work well basically there's an easter egg now any mob that you that receives the name dinner bone like this or grum which is like this will be rendered upside down now this works for loads of different things so i'm going to go over here i'm going to show you guys exactly how this works so if i put that in there it has to be a capital d at the start so d i n n e r bone as you can see dinner bone right there and if i do it again if i name this one um a grum, it's B G R U M M. As you can see, it's grum. So if I grab, say, two cows, let's grab some cows. A cow. Um, let's grab. Let's just grab something else as well. Let's grab a creeper. Does it work with a creeper? Let's give it a try. So if I place a creeper there and I put the the grum, as you can see, is upside down, and he's gonna stay upside down permanently. 
Um, and if I place down a cow and put down a dinner bone, you can see it's upside down. So yeah, it works for pretty much all mobs. I think it is so much funny to mess around with, and I'm not sure what's going on with that creeper. But boom, you seem to be having chaos now. The last one, which is really awesome as well, is if you put that inside there and you name it Jeb underscore. So it's going to be Jeb underscore. This is not capitals. This is all lowercase. And I grab myself a sheep. Yes, H. The sheep one. And as you can see, naturally spawn, it's white. But you see, he is a rainbow sheep. It changes color permanently. Now, something else a lot of people didn't know is if you put a name tag on a rabbit and name it Toast, it will cause it to have a special memorial skin. Now, I am playing on 1.7.10 because I have the wonderful shaders, as you guys seem to enjoy in every single episode. So I can't show you that, but it's a cool feature that was introduced in Minecraft 1.8. It seems that my doggy is really, really after these sheep. I'm not going to let him. So, guys, that's like the cool thing about these. I Just in a nutshell, they spawn naturally in dungeons and all the biomes and all the crazy stuff like that. Dinnerbone will give you an upside down animal, no matter what it is. And Jeb underscore will give you the rainbow sheep. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. I think name tags are going to be a great feature. They were introduced in the horse update. You can name your horses. And just for the sake of this, we're going to grab a horse. Before we go, I'm going to grab a name tag. And we're going to do an, un we're going to do an upside down horse just to go out with. So if we go, dinner bone. D-I-N-N-E-R. Bone. And we grab this. And we grab the horse. Ah, oh, we got a baby horse upside down. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. I do hope that these features, the upside down one and the rainbow sheep, are introduced to Minecraft console as well. I've been Echo. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.